Hi, I want to share with you how I use my virtual classroom in uh, Google Classroom. So right here, you can see here is um, a Google Classroom that I just made up. And if you look right here, um, I went ahead and added my virtual classroom right here on the stream. Now, you don't have to add it to the stream. I'll show you where else you can add it. But I, like I said, I added it on the stream. Um, I like putting it on stream because when kids log in, the stream is the first thing that they'll go to. So, for example, if I was just on Google, change my thing over here. So, if I was on Google and I went to Google Classroom, like I said, the first thing that pops up is that stream when they click to their class. So, right here, they end up on the stream, they see the virtual classroom, they click on it, it's the first thing they go to. So, I like that. And then if you're like, well, but it starts going down at the bottom because as you add more assignments, so if I added another assignment, it would get on top of this one. This one would get on top like as you add more. So all you do is on the little um, right hand side, these three little buttons, you just um, click move to the top and you can keep adding your virtual classroom right at the top. I had like six classes last year. It was real easy for me. I just come in real quick and just click the button and go to the top. No problem. My kids always knew where it was. It was the first thing they clicked on. And uh, anyway, so that's where I put my virtual classroom. Now, another place you can put it is you can put it in the classwork section right here. So if you click on the classwork section, and what's really nice is that you can actually, um, now is you can, well, it's been for a little while, Google's been um, allowing us to organize it certain ways. So you can see right here, you can see this is how I organized it since they've been adding a lot of this cool stuff. So um, I know this stuff isn't all cells right here, but I'm just giving you an example. If it was all cells, you can actually create topics and so underneath here, you see it says cells. And um, this is just a topic I created. In order to do that, you just um, go ahead and go to create. And you can click topic. And I could write cells again or whatever topic you want. And then you can grab the, these guys and you just slide it right underneath. So as you make an assignment, okay, um, and it shows up, you can grab it and stick it underneath here, which is so neat. So again, like I said, it's arranged in um, topic. So this could be all cells, which... I know some of it isn't sales right there. And then you can see you could have one just for your classroom. So let me see. I'll show you what I mean. Let me show you. So if I click topic and I'll just do it again so you can see how I made it. So I can go virtual classroom. Oh, yeah, it already exists. Uh, so if you click enter, you see it makes that title. And then I can grab these. Like I said, these can actually move and you can stick it underneath here. Now, sometimes they'll move back because if you just made it or sometimes it gets a little fidgety, but it should reappear and go back to where it's supposed to. Um, but anyway, so you can see right here, bam, set to go. So when my kids go to the stream, they would find our virtual classroom right here at the top because you put it at the top. And then all your work could be right below it. So that's another way to do it. Let me just delete this since I don't need this anymore. Um, I'm just showing you. So that's pretty cool. You can have topics. What I'll probably do is um, I probably won't have mine arranged like this. I'm going to arrange mine by agendas. So if we go to my Google, my virtual classroom, here it is right here. I drew all of this. The only thing I haven't, I didn't draw was the Bitmoji character. Um, if any of you guys can figure out how to make her um, more colorful and not as faded around the sides, I would love to know. But anyway, so here she is right here. And um, when my students will click here, click to find my agenda, it'll pop up and it'll show them uh, the week agenda. So they'll see like, let's say August 10th through August 14th. That's how I'm going to label mine because the, um, that's just how I'm doing mine. So anyway, so on mine right here, I'm going to label it instead of cells. I'm going to go ahead. I got to go over here and click edit, rename. I'll name mine like August 10th to the 14th, I think that was. Anyways, so when my students see it, and if you want to refresh this, you just go up here and click classwork, and it'll take you right back. Anyways, um, I'm going to do mine like this. So as I add more um, every week, you know, they can go by the week to find what we did for that week. So everything for this week will be under this. But I'm always going to keep, keep the virtual classroom right here, and I'll probably keep it also on my stream right at the top too. I like having it all these different places for students to find it. And then as I go on with more weeks, you know, um, I'll label and I'll have a new topic for that. So hopefully that helps give you guys some ideas. When my kids will click on my virtual classroom, my old agendas, you saw how that was through August 10th through the 14th. I will move that agenda to over here on the side where it says old agendas. If you can't see, let me show you. I'm going to move it over here on the side. So when students click here, 
they will see my agenda. And this is what my agenda looks like. My old agendas, I'm sorry, is right here. They'll be attached. So agenda for this week. So that was the 10th through the 14th. I might even move it over here. But anyway, so the next week they'll have one link here. They can click to as well in case. Um, anyway, so I like having a calendar as well so students can see. But if you have any questions about um, about this, if I went too fast or anything, uh, let me know. But that's how I'm going to use it. I hope that's helpful. Thanks, you guys. Bye.